Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, your beloved big man here, and welcome back to Kirkle once again. How are you guys doing today? I do hope that you're feeling fine. I know I am. Just got out of the shower, just been hit in the gym. It was leg day today. Oh, what a horrible day. But it's kind of fun, though. It's kind of fun to kind of see where your maximum is. It's great feeling, feeling exhausted in that way. Today, we are going to continue work on... The Shoemaker, which we started on the last episode, and thank you so much guys for nice feedback and comments on that one. There, there haven't been too many comments yet, but uh, there was a few, like, none. ah, I can't even speak today. It's getting late, guys. Uh, I should have been in bed already, but I want to play Minecraft, and ain't nobody gonna stop me, alright? <laughs> um, there wasn't too many comments, but those I got was nice. So uh, this is great to hear. Uh, I got a lot of views though, so that means people are still enjoying and interested in this series here. We're going to be continuing the work we did over here at the Shoemaker. Wow. Am I the only one seeing the complete lag now? Holy crap. <laughs> that was kind of insane. It's, it's not getting better, it's getting badder, worse. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna try to do here is think um kind of flattening it out mostly i think i'm not completely sure though uh if we tool info and then figure out what this is and then we're just gonna do uh br wow well, brush sphere uh one three seven three dot seven uh, five, yeah, and then mask that to only the two, and then we're just gonna, yeah, that works. Okay, so now at least got that in, and uh, we got foundation to work with here. Okay, it's not too great, but I guess if we just add a little bit of a slabbage happening here, and try to mix in some other blocks and stuff, I think we'll be there, right? We uh, mix in some of these bad boys. So kind of small mixing stuff. And then what I kind of want to have here is almost like a porch area. I'm not sure if it's called a porch or not. Um, but some kind of overhanging roof where he'll be doing most of the job outside. And then we kind of connect it up. So maybe we'll connect it through here. And then it can go into this building from here. Maybe that that's a good way. I think yeah, let's do that. And then when you use the arch ones, of course. Maybe let's move it up once. Like that. And so it's kind of from here moving into that building there. And then what I want to do is I'm gonna pick another wood material and use this one. And then we're gonna make some kind of roof happening here. Is that too much though? That's the question. I don't know. Maybe it's too... too tall. I think it's a little tall. Let's remove that and move it one more block down, I think. We're gonna place it there instead. Do it like that. And then... Like this, and below here another one, and yeah, it's almost covering the whole area here, that's nice, so we're gonna do something like that. Yeah, that's really cool, I like that a lot, I really like that, uh, I might want to mix in a little bit of a different slabbage stuff happening here. A little bit something like that just to break the texture a little bit up here yes definitely as it's looking really cool here and then of course we're gonna need some supports for this it ain't gonna fly you know <laughs> so putting in some of those there and yeah I like that whole small area behind here looks really cool okay so uh, the shoemaker stuff should have an anvil where he could be banking the shoes on. 
I've seen that in movies, so I know that for a fact. And so we're gonna have something like that. Maybe I have two of them. And I play some different directions. Yeah, very cool. And then of course we're gonna have like these tanning racks where there will be like leather on. Maybe th those will be in the in the back here. Uh, let's switch this out for grass. We're gonna have almost like this this wild area back here with some bushes and maybe some trees and stuff. I think that will look the best. And guys, if you haven't checked out my latest Let's Build a Castle episode, feel free to do so. I think you might enjoy it. If you're only a Kirkholm fan or a Kirkholm enjoyer and you're not, you haven't seen my Let's Build a Castle series, I would recommend you checking that out because people are giving me awesome feedback on that. And that tells me that people are enjoying that. So what if we have some tanning racks like that? Uh, like that maybe? Something like that, and then we're gonna have maybe some. We're gonna have a door here. Yeah, we can have a door here, and it will connect up to this floor back here. And maybe we'll have like make it so. Okay, this is bad. Uh, place that there instead. So there's some space here. So maybe this will be the residential area where um, the shoemaker will live with his family, and then the two other parts, the tower here and this build, will be for business. All right. So, I suppose maybe you'd go in here and then the shop is inside. I don't know. Maybe it would be make more sense to have the door in the front here. Let's do that actually. Let's make the door in the front here so that it makes more sense and it's easier for the customers to reach it. Uh, let's use some of these ones, I think. Like that, just something simple, and then I'm gonna use this door right here, like that. I'm a little bit here and there, everywhere, kind of, while building this, but I hope you guys don't mind. That's cool. And then maybe small porch thing. I really like my porches, you know. Something like that. And then we could be using these ones. Those are really nice. Probably one of my favorite blocks. No, my vertical slabs favorite blocks. The next favorite blocks are these things. Which you have in the normal Minecraft, of course. Yeah, that looks cool. And then we can have a cross one in the middle. It looks a little weird though. Let's um Let's actually do something like that. And then go you go there instead. Yeah, that's better. That looks nice. We could also use these trapdoors instead. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's actually better. Looks a lot slimmer and a lot more neat when you have the supports below. Okay, that's really cool I like that. Cool idea, Vigo. Impressing myself here. But what if we added some of these support stuff here as well? Like, uh, maybe, <laughs> it's kind of hard getting this right here. But something like that. Yeah, it's not too bad. And over here as well. There and... Why no one? Okay, yeah, that's because of that stupid thing. All right, and there as well. Okay, nice. How does that look? That's cool. I like that idea. Like mixing it up a little. I think that's cool. Very nice indeed. Uh, let's put in that door here while we're at it. Oh crap! Oh yeah, I have it in my inventory already. Let's place this one right here then first. Like that, and then one. Here, come on! Oh man, uh, I'm everywhere at the moment. But okay, yeah, that's cool. I wanna just bring that up a wee bit like that. Yeah, that's cool. That's really nice. And I don't know really what else to put here, and, and like except for tools and stuff, because I don't think the shoemaker has too much stuff. 
We're gonna have hammers. You're gonna use the hammers a lot, I know. Uh, maybe grinder stone. Maybe to tear the ladder a little bit. We're gonna have some tools. Maybe it's gonna have like this rack hanging here and then this grinding stone. Maybe turn it the opposite way so it actually makes sense. So we have the handle on this side and then we have these things here, the hammers you can be using. Stuff like that. It's still a little plain though. And I want to fix that. So maybe you're gonna have some some tables and stuff to work with. That makes sense, right? Like that. And then maybe some tools on top of that. Uh, that doesn't make sense at all. And uh, broom, sure. Each four. You kind of have to just play with the things you have here, right? Because um, there's some limits that you have to just accept and you just have to work with them instead of working against them, I, I, I figured out. So if you just like imagine things are what they are, where the, what they're supposed to be, everything becomes a whole lot easier. But yeah, it's definitely looking better here. Looking nice, I think. Yeah, I think that's about it for the back here. Uh, maybe we should bring this over like that a little bit as well though. Just because we can, to create this arch thing. Yeah, that's cool. And then of course connect this up here. So we'll be like that. And then what I want to do here is add a little bit of vegetation and stuff. You can see that I've added a little bit back here. And it just brings the whole build to life. So I'm gonna try and do that. Maybe add a little bit of this bush here with some uh, which is that's dark. Now we're gonna use bright apple leaves. And that will just create a little bit of a texture in there as well. And then maybe add some of these bushes here. These ones are really nice because they're so massive. So they create like this, they kind of break up all the texture here. Then we can use the cypress. That's a nice one. Probably one of my favorite flowers or trees, whatever you want to call it in this pack here. And then just a little bit of stuff here, you know. And then we're gonna have one lantern on the outside here. Uh, one of these. Yeah, let's use that one. And then with something like that on top. Yeah. That looks nice. I think uh, I think I like that. Uh, of course, I won't be able to do the interiors and stuff on camera today. But we're gonna get to that. Maybe next episode or maybe I'll do it off camera. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to see what kind of mood I am. Because <laughs> sometimes I just really like just building. And I can build a lot of stuff without you guys. And I have a little, like this bad feeling afterwards. But I had like I really enjoyed while I build while derping about here with my talking as well. It's a sign that I should really get to sleep. But yeah, let's add a little bit of foliage here as well. Just for texture. And then I want to have a tree in the middle. Because I think that will look awesome. So tree, big like that. And then maybe we're gonna play around a little bit with it, right? So if we bring that up like so and then place the tree. Yes, that's a decent size, I think. Yeah, I like that. And then we're gonna maybe make it bend over a little bit, I think. So let's go up like that, and then get some of these blocks here. We're gonna try to make the whole trunk stuff look better. So move some of those. Oh, breaking blocks, which I'm not supposed to break here. <laughs> uh, and then kind of play around a little bit with this transition here. I think that's cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And then, of course, we're gonna have the trunk, which is like this, maybe. And like that, and then maybe one of these right there, like that. And then on top here, we're gonna... Just kind of mix in some of these things to make the tree pop alive a little bit more. Yeah, nice. 
and then we're going to do the normal thing, just putting down some hanging leaves, hanging branches and stuff to create this willow tree, because willow trees are more interesting than normal oak trees, alright? Uh, just believe me on this one, guys. So, we're just going to add a little bit of stuff. Oh, did you see that? Are, those, are the leaves? Oh, they're falling leaves. That's so cool. I haven't seen that before. Beautiful. I love the ambience of this pack. Everything you build just gets like 10 times better because of all the stuff that's happening. Shaders and, you know, stuff. Oh, that's a beautiful tree. I like that. I really, really like how this turned out. All right. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of... I think I'm going to try to add a clothesline, which hangs from this tree here and connects up with this right here like that. Some small stuff to to make this whole area come alive, you know. I'm gonna add some more stuff around here, some more bushes and stuff. So something like this and yeah. You know with the with the foliage stuff you just have to feel yourself, you know. Well <laughs> feel yourself the way in on how to build this everything i say now just feels so dirty <laughs> but uh you just have to kind of follow your gut feeling on how much to put and right now i'm feeling that i put enough i think yeah that's beautiful i love that lush feeling it has to it really cool really cool indeed uh let's add one bush right there it's really nice Let's add some light in here as well, just to brighten up the area a little bit. Maybe use a lantern instead? Yeah. Like so. And then... I don't really know what else to do here. Let's see in the front here if there's anything uh, we should do. So we're building here, so I'm not going to do any landscaping here. This will, this building will have a small backyard here to do the, the its profession, so... Uh, we have a blacksmith, we have a shoemaker, and I suppose this could be some kind of weapon, weaponry, armory, or something like that thing. So we can kind of combine with both the shoemaker and the blacksmith this building here, though. Oh, I, I like it. <laughs> I really like it. I like the whole ambience of Kirkholm. I just really think it's taking shape. It's such a massive town now. It's growing. I can still remember the first day I started playing here. And it's just been growing so much since that time. It's beautiful. And thank you so much for just hanging in there with me, guys. It just means the world to me to to see the same guys of you. Because uh, yeah, I can I, I remember most of you guys, most of the face, no, the faces, names, uh, usual names and stuff like that. I remember most of that from uh, my video. So I remember when if I've seen you commenting before and stuff like that. And yeah, last episode I kind of asked you. If you are a long time subscriber or if you're a new one and most of you guys have said that you were long time subscribers I, I, I remember you guys so uh, for those of you who have been here for a few weeks or month I pretty much remember all of you okay so uh, that's kind of fun I like that being able to kind of communicate in different level with you guys and lately many of you guys have been posting pictures or uh, tagging me in pictures on Twitter and stuff so that I can take a look in them and uh, give me inspiration and I can kind of help you guys as well and we can kind of help together and grow as builders all together and I think that is like the main goal for for me while playing Minecraft here it's not I, I don't want to be a massive youtuber you know I just want to have fun play Minecraft and grow and uh, learn new techniques and stuff together with you guys my friends so thank you so much for just like tagging me and sending me pictures and stuff of what you built and improvements to my builds that also I've also seen that and like ways different ways I could have done or approached an idea or a building and yeah everything just yeah everything is great guys thank you so much uh, it means the world to me I want to move this up a little bit okay that just adds so much more uh, and then uh, let's add these oh beautiful I like that and let's add a small flower thing flower bed in front here oh there we go and then a small support like that with a flower in it let's take another flower right now let's use 
Um, a yellow one? Yeah, that's nice. I really like the, the feeling of this building in the front here with this, this carriage here and the flowers and the, everything. It just looks really cool. But guys, I think that is about it that I have time for today. It's been a fun episode. I should get some sleep before I go home to my parents tomorrow. So uh, hopefully this will be out on Saturday if everything goes as planned. And I won't be able to really interact with you until I get home on Monday or Sunday evening. So just stay with me guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vega Man, and I'm out.